everyone. Welcome to BadgerBeat.com. Rob Hernandez alongside Jim Polzine. Time for the Badger breakdown from the Badgers' 38-28 win over Illinois. And Jimmy, we start first with a game ball. A lot of opportunities to give them out early and late. No, middle part of the game. Right. And uh, But a uh, chance to take it away early and late. What uh, what did you decide on it for a game ball in this one? Broken record alert. Melvin Gordon gets my game ball. <laughs> um, he was the one guy that was pretty solid from start to finish, I thought. You know, another strong game running the ball. Uh, four touchdowns, 175 yards. Tough not to uh, give him the game ball in this situation, although in our thumbs up we'll, we'll get to the guy, the other guy I was considering. All right, uh, we'll go right to that thumbs up uh, so you don't have to wait around and find out uh, with bated breath who that would be. I kind of got a feeling it's another guy who carries the football. Right, yeah, the, his backup, Corey Clement, who uh, I feel a little bad because he averaged 12.6 yards per carry, had a career high, 163 yards. Uh, you know, two really big runs in the second half kind of catapulted him. But again, it was tough to uh, it was tough to not give the game ball to Gordon. We probably should have seen this coming a little bit because Illinois has got one of the worst pass, or excuse me, one of the worst rush defenses in the country. Sure. UW has got one of the strongest um, running games in the country, so this is predictable in a lot of ways. Uh, so to see Gordon and Clement go off as a, a one-two punch today wasn't all that surprising. But I can assure you, Jimmy did not give out that uh, game ball or that thumbs up before the game. He actually waited to make sure it would happen. Thumbs down, Jim. I hate to ask. Where are we going with this one? We're going with the punter. I feel like I've been a little tough on special teams, okay. but I feel better about this pick because Gary Anderson, you know, said after the game that the the special teams is not acceptable, and you know he he mentioned without mentioning Drew Meyer's name, he mentioned you know Meyer's performance. There were a couple times where they really needed big punts out of Meyer to flip the field, and he wasn't able to do it. Two thirty-five yard efforts in the first half, and Illinois took advantage of great field position, ended up scoring. So you know. Drew's off to a, a real tough start uh, this season, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, they need him to figure it out because field position plays such a huge role in this game, and and you know they need him to kind of flip the field in some circumstances. All right, time to look at how they see the game, and we'll start first with the Badgers. And the Badgers probably can look at this a number of different ways. Some positives at different points in the ball game. But, boy, 38-28 at the end of the day may not be what uh, they were looking for. Yeah, and I totally forgot what I wrote. I'm totally cheating here. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll, sorry. We'll go, we'll go to the... A couple hours ago. Oh, oh, so my line was... Okay. This Read victory, it to us, buddy. This victory was about as stylish as Vince Beagle's mullet. Oh, there you go. So nice unless you're a mullet fan, which there's yeah. probably some mullet fans out there. I think these guys know, and I think what I heard one of them say afterward that it was clearly not a, a, a pretty victory. They used the word ugly to describe it. Mm-hmm. So when you beat Illinois, a team that's really struggling by only 10 points, you're kind of left with a, a bittersweet feeling in your mouth. The, they would have loved to have finished this game stronger because at one point... You know they were rolling to a you know a lopsided victory and then let Illinois get back into it. So clearly, still some things to work on. They go into the bye week and, and we'll have time to work on those things. Anytime you get a guy from Wisconsin Rapids and you're uh, you know how they see it, you're you're in good shape. And not only does he have a great mullet, but he's got he's got some great um, artwork on, the, oh, on yeah. the side. And it's for a good cause. I, you know I I shouldn't joke about it because um, he, he mentioned today that he's doing this for the American uh, Family Children's Hospital. Sure. Him and Joe Schobert are growing out their hair. Eventually they're going to get chopped off. But Vince Beagle's taken great advantage of that yes. by growing one superb mullet. And um, <laughs> being from northeast Wisconsin, I'm not going to rip on anybody with mullets because that's kind of the norm up there. Oh, very good. Uh, how do the fans see this one, Jim? I, 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 I'm sure there's some fans who, after last week, are you know, in it for any win. But uh, was this good enough for the fans? Well, I think the one thing, whether it's fans or media, has to think uh, after another game like this is where would this team be without Melvin Gordon? It, it's scary to think because he's really, and I wrote about this a couple weeks ago, You can't. there's not a lot of real great players on this team. There's one, Melvin Gordon, and then there's a lot of other decent players, good players. Uh, but without Melvin Gordon, I just can't even imagine how this team would be because they're struggling with him, frankly. He, he's he's <laughs> He's been a, a one-man wrecking crew now for several weeks, and um, so without him, I can't imagine where they'd be. They'd probably be Illinois. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> true. And speaking of that, the pollsters. Um, the Badgers fell into the great abyss outside the top 25 this week. I don't suppose a 10-point win over a team like Illinois is going to do anything to improve their stock. No, they're probably off the radar no matter how strong that radar is. And, and frankly, you know, those people that look in the – bottom line or in the newspaper one morning and see a 10-point victory over Illinois are not going to be impressed. This is the same Illinois team that lost by 31 points at, North, at Nebraska a couple weeks ago. So it, it was a chance for UW to kind of make a statement with a, a lopsided win and didn't do that. They're happy to get any win at this point, but certainly a lot of things to work on and, and not one that's going to you know raise eyebrows across the country except for the wrong reasons. All right. We're in a bye week this week, right? I hope so. Basketball practice on Monday, open practice, so I'm kind of switching over into uh, – 
hoops you're, mode. You're going to break down some other stuff here right. very shortly. For Jim Polzine, I'm Rob Hernandez. Thanks for watching the Badger Breakdown. We'll see you again down the road.